Hello, I'm Richard Jack Smith of Real Talk Movie Reviews. Cue the psychedelic review. With notes odoriferous, it's possible to sense the living organism, which changes by the watery current and shape of the moon. Picturesque in the plainest possible instruments, the air buzzes with lively company. A touching flute to stir deeper thoughts, a nudge from the brass in the vicinity of folk music renewed. Falstaff felt like a time-travelling oddity, at once festive and welcoming, then alarms blare as conflict rears her pretty little countenance. She proves an irksome beast of burden, nearly plodding and deliberate, then leopard quick and jugular ready. An experience to be repeated, Falstaff makes simple conversation out of its familiar web. Practice measures shed light on the soon to be mocking path, the blade flaming in lieu of sunnier outcomes. I spy a heritage, lonely in the beginning, then fellowship blossoms. The company writ, a prophecy extended, and the harbour free from harassing sap. I give Falstaff, Chimes at Midnight, by Angelo Francesco Lavanino, five out of five stars. This week's mini review, Billy Two Hats by John Scott. John Scott's Billy Two Hats runs the risk of being too soft. It lacks the snare of Greystoke and Lionheart. Feeling like it could disappear into the background without much fanfare, the action music comes across as fragile rather than empowering. Nevertheless, it remains fairly creative and unobtrusive. Three out of five stars. For more film and soundtrack reviews, please visit Betty Jo Tucker's website, Real Talk Movie Reviews. On Facebook, you can find my pages, Hypnotic Movie Reviews and Hypnotic Soundtrack Reviews. I am Richard Jack Smith. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.